uh, system down uh, system down by paying thousand life points you can remove from play all machine monsters on the field and in the graveyard of your opponents so uh, it's a countermeasure versus machina uh, gadgets uh, gadgets and maybe Morphtronics, well any deck that uh, uses machine monsters also good versus machine monster is cyber dragon and proto cyber dragon why it's because uh, you can uh, few send uh, cyber dragon or proto cyber dragon from your field to the graveyard and any other machine type monster on the field who will most likely be f from your opponent and summon a fort chimera Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Its attack is equal to a uh, thousand times the number of monsters that were used, that were sent to, uh, to the graveyard. Uh, Fiendish Chain. It's a continuous trap card that once it's activated you target a card and it can no longer attack nor can it activate it, uh, and its effect is also negated. It's uh, Good versus uh, maybe monarchs, since uh, you can uh, chain it to, to a monarch's effect and negate it. It can also uh, counter judgment dragon and dark armor dragon, and it's especially good if you uh, have a magic planter already in your deck. That you can, uh, after you've used it, you can uh, send Phoenix chain to the graveyard and uh, draw two cards. Prohibition. What is this card um, allows you to counter one specific card. What it does is uh, when you play it, you uh, declare one card name and that card can no longer be played. So uh, when you're really afraid of one particular card, you can uh, this card is a good idea. The Woman of Crossout. This is uh, good versus dandy draw decks or Decks that uh, use uh, uh, Light One Hunter uh, uh, Ryoku and uh, Super Nimble Mega Hamster, and then the draw decks often plays their then the Lion face down, so uh, then it's also good. Also good versus um, then the draw and any other decks that has so, s uses uh, monster with monsters with less than 1000 attack points is power filter since no monster with 1000 attack points or less can be uh, special summoned so uh, in a dan dandy draw deck their tokens can no longer be summoned debris dragon cannot revive anything from the graveyard quick draw synchron can no longer be special summoned and in a frog monarch deck their uh, frogs are all locked are all locked away. They can no longer be uh, special summoned. Rivalry of the Warlords. This card is a card that uh, can be used or can best be used if you ha only use one type of monster in your deck. What it does is uh, when it's played, both players send monsters from uh, his field to the graveyard until they only control uh, one uh, type of monster. Uh, this is also a good versus uh, dandy draw decks since uh, when they discard a dandelion for quick draw synchron and then a synchro summon with uh, one of the tokens and a quick draw synchron they summon drill warrior, deactivate drill warrior's effect, discard a card, remove it from play and uh, during your turn you set rivalry of the warlords during his draw phase you activate it and uh, since he will have one more dandy token left, his uh, Drill Warrior can no longer return to the field. It's also good versus any uh, Synchro deck whose two Synchro material monsters are not at the same type, since uh, they can uh, no longer have the Synchro material monsters on the field at the same time. Uh, Gozen's Match. It's basically the same thing as uh, Rivalry of the Warlords, only this card doesn't work with types, this card works, works with attributes. Generally, Rivalry of the Warlords is better. Why? Because I haven't found a deck yet for, of uh, 
which Gozun's match is a really big problem. Final Countdown. This card is a card that you can side deck versus other Final Countdown decks. Since if you uh, are able to uh, play Final Countdown before your opponent, then you've won. Since Final Countdown, Final Count down decks have no other means to win but final counter and if you can play your final counter first then uh, your uh, 20 turns will have been reached for first uh, before your opponent's final counter can uh, take its effect